Now to an update on a story we first brought you on Thursday. The former Manchester resident who survived Hurricane Irma as it ravaged St. Martin is now safe in Puerto Rico and speaking out. And the story Maria Pintos has to tell is terrifying. They watched out their resort window as Irma devastated St. Martin. Maria Pinto says the wind gusts felt almost supernatural, like a force that wanted to break into their room. It looked like something from a horror movie. Everything was falling. The, the door was trying to come off the hinges. The windows were about to shatter. Maria traveled to St. Martin with her fiancé to celebrate their engagement, but their island vacation turned into a fight for survival. When the winds died down, they walked out into a disaster zone. With the amount of, you know, the limited food and water that there was, people were starting to get very violent. Um, they were coming to attack people with machetes, and it was just, it was just unbelievable. The looters came right to their doorstep, prompting local military intervention. They had robbed a bank also, and the suspects were caught in our hotel, in the resort. Um, I just, you know, it's just been all too crazy. Maria also suffers from health complications from colon cancer she battled at age 15. And as symptoms began to flare, she needed medical attention. Back in Manchester, her brother Pablo reached out to Senators Jean Shaheen and Maggie Hassan, who arranged for Maria and her fiancé to evacuate to Puerto Rico on a charter flight. I know for a fact that because of what they've done, my sister is safe right now. Maria says they are still in shock over how quickly paradise turned into a living nightmare. It just it brings us to tears because we first we never thought we would overcome that. The family is hoping Maria will be able to make it out of Puerto Rico on a flight tomorrow. Pablo Gamela says one of the unsung heroes in all of this is Maria's fiance, who he says has done an amazing job keeping his sister safe.